Hey AccuQuilt Go owners! Today's video is going to show you how to make this adorable Valentine's Day pennant using the isosceles triangle die and the applique hearts. Stay tuned! In order to make the Valentine pennant that's hanging behind me, you're going to need two AccuQuilt Go dies. The first die is the isosceles triangle die. This die comes with two triangles on the die, and as you can see, I've marked the triangle um, with a silver sharpie marker and also with the size uh, fabric cut that I'll need to lay over the die. The second die that you'll want is the applique hearts. This is a die that has three different heart shapes on it. To make the pennant, um, first what I did is I took two fabrics and I fused them together using a fusible sheet. Now because this is a pennant that hangs up, I wanted the fusible to be a little bit firmer than the one that I normally use, so I used a Steema Seam 2, which is a, a heavier weight uh, fusible in between. So I basically um, took um, two pieces of fabric that I cut to six and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and that's what I have marked on my die. That's what's going to cover this die shape with very little waste around the side. So with a piece of fabric that is um, six and a half inches by eight and a half inches, I fuse them together um, with steam -a seam in the middle so that it's double sided. Then I lay the fabric over the, um, the die covering the triangles. and I'll run it through the go cutter. As I run this through, I do slightly angle um, this die so that I'm not cutting a single um, edge of the blade. So this is one die that is not angled, um, the blades are not angled in the die board. So I'm angling this sharp uh, slightly just so that as it runs through, it is not cutting along that blade all at once. All right. So now, what I get are these two, uh, these two uh, triangle shapes. So um, you could just take these and stitch them to ribbon and hang them up and it'll be fine, but I wanted to embellish this just a little bit, and so that's where the Go Hearts applique die comes in. Now because these shapes are so close together on the die, I can't just lay my triangle over the top because I'll end up cutting off most of the pennant in the process. But the cool thing about hearts is that they are symmetrical down the center. So what I do is I just fold the triangle in half the long way. And what I would do uh, if I had my iron handy is I would go to the iron and I would just uh, uh, put, press that crease in. But since my iron is not here, um, just uh, make sure that you iron it there. Now when I place this on the die, I'm going to put it on one side of the heart. And as I align this, I'm not putting it exactly in the center. I'm putting it slightly to the left of center. So I don't want to actually catch the, the point um, of the heart at the tip or the point that's at the center. So you don't want your fabric to actually touch the center. You just want it to be slightly off from center. And the reason for that is if you place it um, actually over the exact center, sometimes the fabric can shift a little bit and then you'll get an extra little divot that's not ideal. Now because this is an applique and I have fusible in between and then I folded it over, I actually have six layers with just one um, piece of this because if you think about it, the fusible does um, represent a layer, especially this one because it's a little bit thicker. So I only want to run one of these through at a time, but I'm going to show you a little trick with this one, how you can cut these pretty fast. All right, so I lay my mat on top and I'm running this through the cutter. And when I get about, um, not quite midway, um, I stop and I can lift the mat and pull out um, this piece. So the die is still in the tray or it's still in the cutter and the, the top half of the mat has, has lifted. So I can pull out my little pennant with the heart shape cut out of it 
And then you actually want to save these little heart pieces too. And then what I want to do is take the other pennant that I have cut out, fold that in half again, and then just sneak it underneath the mat on this side and if you've run it through enough you should be able to see where you're putting it and you can just lay the mat down and then just reverse the direction. So this actually goes pretty quickly um, to make this pennant so here's my second one and because these are um, double sided you can reverse them or um, make it a reversible um, pennant and all I did with with this uh, uh, pennant is I stitched them to a wide decorative ribbon and then I used my crocodile which uh, comes in handy this little scrapbooking tool to punch a hole in the heart centers and run a ribbon through those and then I stitched buttons to the uh, to the ribbon and uh, hung the hearts from uh, from that ribbon so this is a really quick and easy project it's probably a little bit early for Valentine's Day but you never know when you can surprise someone with a cool gift. Happy quilting!